Uh, 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 uh. One more. One more. Well, good morning, guys. Welcome back here to another sunny, warm day in Baja, California, sir. And man, what I say at this time of year, when people, especially in the States and Canada, start to get that weather change for fall season, and things start to cool off from the summer heat, I might get a little bit jealous. <laughs> you don't think I'm crazy for saying that, but with the extreme temperatures here that we get in the desert, man, those nice cold temperatures sound so much nicer to paddle in. But anyways, today we're out here for another workout with booth training. This is actually my fifth week now into the training program. And I'll talk a little bit more about here in a little bit about how my experience has been and what the training has been like. But today, for today's workout, we got a nice tough one. I say so far out of the program, this has been probably one of the top or one of the hardest workouts I've had to do. I've had to do it now for last week as well and then this week. And it's a toughie. So this workout looks like a 10 minute dynamic warm up, starting off nice and easy and then building up into our level four or higher level intensity of paddling. So with boot train, there's actually five levels of intensity, one being the easiest and five being the hardest. So there's building up a nice warm up paddle into level four. And for the hard part today's workout, we're gonna be doing 10 times 200 meter sprints at level five max effort. And then with three minutes of rest between each of those sets. And a nice cool down after that. So, because each one of those is a max effort, it is a grueling hard workout. Especially today, we got just a tiny bit of breeze, which will kind of help me keep me cool, but it's already almost 80 degrees this morning. Woo! It's gonna be a tough one and a hot one. So let's get this nice warm-up paddle session in and get ready to grind out today's workout. Let's do this, baby. Now, some of you may have seen my previous video. Michael Booth actually did a stroke analysis for me. So ever since I've been trying to apply some of the tips he's been giving me, or he gave me, to improve my paddle stroke. Which in theory all work really well. But it just takes a while to kind of recreate my muscle memory to adapt to this new style of paddle stroke. So I encourage you, if you have not seen that video already, I encourage you guys to watch it. You can see all my mistakes and hopefully learn from my mistakes as well and taking all the amazing advice that Booth gives in that stroke analysis video and apply those tips to your stroke as well. All right, about two more minutes left. Just warm up and begin the workout session. And time. Whew. Get this lens cleans off one more time for you guys before we start today's workout. So I also don't have a smartwatch on today. I'll explain about that later. So I don't have anything to track my actual distance. Let's go my time today for 200 meters. So I'm gonna go for about 50 seconds, full on all the way out to simulate a 200 meter sprint. Here we go. Time. Oh. 
First one's always wobbly and a mess. Just trying to get my body feel the rhythm today. Three minutes of rest. During this time too, like really focus on trying to get quality breaths in through my nose and out through my mouth. Just nice deep, just nice deep, slow breaths. Nose, all the way out through the mouth. Really focusing on trying to get my heart rate down and relax again. So as I was saying earlier, <laughs> don't have a smart watch on right now because unfortunately last week was a week of unfortunate events with being sick. And then my watch broke because I dropped it on the hard floor on accident on the tile and shattered the screen. So I'm without a watch right now. And at the end of the week, I went for a run, tweaked my back a little bit, jogging underneath a small tree. So man, it was just a hard week last week. Out of doubt. So hoping for a better week this week. And just gotta make do with what I got. So since I don't have a smartwatch on, like I was saying, my time is for about 50 seconds, so we're kind of similar to that 200 meters. Obviously you can give or take off that time from actual 200 meters, but it's the best I can do right now to simulate that full 200 meter sprint. All right, about 45 more seconds. So we're on to round number two. Oh boy. Time. Time. Hard to breathe, this is in my mouth. Man. The 200 sprints are a killer. It's a long distance to hold a max speed at. Now, did it say speed or quick speed? It's definitely not my forte. Definitely more the longer distance. But there's no excuse not to get better at it. And the speed is also gonna help me improve my cardio and VO2 max for those longer distance pals as well. So. Giving everything I got. Whew. Breeze picking up a little bit. Can't tell on the camera, but it's probably picking up to about eight knots now. All right, about 15 more seconds. It's where my body starts to really feel it. Three in, seven to go. Definitely tell my body's not 100% yet. 
after my sickness last week. So I'm feeling adjusted. is a little bit annoying though. Just enough breeze on my left hand side. I'm having to pedal more on my right hand side. <sighs> Gotta love it. All right, 30 more seconds. I keep looking down at my feet because I have a stopwatch below my feet down there. <laughs> so that's why I keep looking straight down and seeing my time. 15 more seconds. hurting all right I'm not got a few more rounds talk to you guys soon all right seven in see more left to go <clears throat> can't lie I'm feeling it those last few were tough. About a minute and a half left of rest. Start number eight. Probably doing a little less talking because oh, I need to focus on my breath. 15 seconds. Oh, sucks. Two more. Uh, two more. Stay tall. One minute and a half left of rest. Two more, baby. Two more. 15 seconds. You got this, Ethan. One more, one more. Just under two minutes left. I will say, it's hard to focus on good form. You just try and go all out and you're exhausted. But no support, so Whew. do my best not to be so sloppy in my form. Oh, for this last one. One minute left. Last one, baby. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. 15 seconds. Everything I've got. Oh, this one's for you, Boothie. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, did it. Woo! Another workout complete. Oh, it sucks. I'm gonna sit for a second. Oh. Oh, that was a toughie. No doubt, that was a hard workout. Not a fun one, but a necessary one. Oh, anything VO2 max day is a painful day. Woo! Well, what a day. <laughs> oh, so I only have I think in my head now. I think three more weeks, roughly, like three and a half weeks left until the race in November in Long Beach, California. Whew, so I got a little bit more work to put in, and we'll kind of taper things off to be ready to go for race day. Whew. So rest of this workout, I got a running session tomorrow, another paddle session on supposed to be Friday and Saturday. Now Saturday I want to show you guys session on the water because it's gonna be a fun one. It's more of a dynamic like tech race trade uh, more of a dynamic tech race trade yeah, I can't say it. it's like a dynamic tech race day training session. We're gonna evolve some pivot turning within the workout. So I'm super excited to kind of try that out and show you guys well. But there's also a slight chance that, that might not happen because right now there's a chance of a hurricane passing through us this weekend. Now today is currently Wednesday, so it's still a few days off and literally anything can happen between now and then where we can get hit directly by the hurricane or it'll completely miss us. A lot can still change within these few days. So when I see you guys again, I'll either be doing a tech race training for that day, or I'll be showing you guys the hurricane that's going on on that day. <laughs> either way, it's gonna be an interesting day. But I'll talk to you guys then, and on that day as well, I'm gonna share with you guys just how my training's been going so far, and kind of what my weeks have been looking like and how I've been enjoying it or how I've been finding it difficult. So I'll see you guys then. As you can tell, I'm obviously not on the waters today due to Hurricane Norma. We're just currently over Baja right now. Preston La Paz started roughly around eight o'clock last night with the rain. And then since that time, the winds have steadily been picking up to gusting to around 70 kilometers an hour. And then the rains have been strong and heavy ever since last night as well. So nothing super crazy in terms of a strong, dangerous hurricane, but rather just conditions you definitely don't want to be on the water on or even just outside on period here in Baja. So currently right now, the roads are all flooded. Um, we're basically just staying indoors today. 
And with that, since I couldn't go outside and do my fun dynamic workout in the water in terms of sprint training and pivot turn training, I stayed indoors today, obviously, doing a strength training cardio workout. And just kind of adapted the best I could for today's um, exercise in terms of not being able to go outside at all today. So, is what it is. It's part of training as an athlete. You have some good days and bad days in terms of health, as well as just weather conditions that are just out of your control. And you just adapt to make do with what you have to work with. But with that being said, I still want to give you guys kind of an update on what my full week of training looks like currently right now with boot training and give you more some insights on what I'm doing in terms of on the water and off the water training. So when I first started five weeks ago with Booth, I actually started only working out five days a week. Two days were on the water, then I spent one day off the water, and then two more days were on the water again, as well as there are two strength training workouts throughout the week um, in terms of exercises also. Now I've actually bumped things up and added an additional day of training onto my week. So I'm now doing six days of training every single week. So right now my training starts on Monday. I go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of on the water training of different workout types, ranging from recovery workouts to more intense workouts for VO2 max training. And then on Thursday is my off the water training and I typically do a run on that day. And so this last week I did a 45 minute run, which is a dynamic run of running at a level three pace, which is not max effort, but also not going super easy either. It's more of that middle steady pace. And then the performance, 30 seconds, um, seven times with 30 seconds of rest. So it kind of gives you an idea what my running workout looks like or what it would look like this week that I did. And then the last two days of the week are back on the water tra training again, or well, at least typically they are. Obviously today, is, today is Saturday. I'm not on the water for this last day of training, but typically the last two days of the week are back on the water training once again. And then during this week, I'm still doing just two strength training exercises every single week. So I'll mix in that strength training along with my cardio training of on the water training also. Wow, I'm saying the word training quite a bit. So typically these workouts, whether it's on the water or off the water training, they each last around roughly an hour long. So each week I'm spinning right now in terms of all my on the water and off the water training and that includes strength training. I'm roughly putting in around eight hours a week more or less of training um, towards my exercises. So that kind of gives you an idea of what I'm personally doing right now in terms of the workload I'm taking on with my training, as well as still trying to maintain my family life as well as my work life also. That's one of the biggest things for a person myself, and I'm not a professional athlete, obviously, so I don't have all day long to focus more on those um, training exercises and dedicate a ton of time to it. So I appreciate um, what I'm currently doing with Booth. I have time to still focus on training and put a lot of time towards that, but also still have plenty of time throughout the day to work on or to focus on work and also family also. Now these past few weeks, I definitely have been pushed pretty hard with my training. Um, last week, I actually got sick. Um, that's probably due as well to just lack of sleep. Right now, I have a six month old baby as well as a two year old um, toddler. So with that, some nights just not much sleep happens. And because I'm not getting much sleep some nights as well as pushing my body hard in these workouts, it was just kind of obvious that I was gonna get sick at some point. So last week that happened for me. And then last week on Monday, I went to try to go out to do the workout even though I wasn't feeling well. That was the first time where I literally just physically could not complete the workout. I was so tired and so exhausted. And did half it and just like, no, my body just cannot handle this right now. So I did the second half of the workout, just piling in an easier pace and taking it more chill. But for someone who prides myself in finishing every single workout and giving the best of my ability, it's gonna be super discouraging when I come to those days like last week where I go to do out to a workout and just can't finish it. For me, that's super discouraging. So I just have to remind myself that it's okay. It's just one day you're not feeling well, take some time off, rest, and then come back at it again tomorrow. So with that being said, thankfully I've felt much better this week. I had another solid week of training, which I'm super grateful for. And what's crazy, I only have three more weeks left of training until the event comes up in November for my race, which is absolutely crazy. So this next week or week and a half will be my last um, time period of hard workouts, working up to my peak workout. And then the last little bit will be focused more on taking things easy, recovering, and my body be fully ready to go and rejuvenated again for my race in November. So, so far overall, I've been super stoked and thankful for my training with Michael Booth and just all the insights he's been giving me and the, and the workouts he's been giving me on the water as well. And I'm super excited to end the last part of the program out with him and get ready for my race in November. So that wraps up today's video. Thanks again for watching. If you made it here to the very end, thanks so much for watching the entire video. I really appreciate it. But I'm gonna stay inside now, stay dry. I'll catch you guys in the next video.